and him never bringing it to his wife, you know, because you never know how she might have felt. And mm -hmm. she might have been opening to it once you healed all the things you were supposed to heal from cheating and lying to her. So if you didn't give your wife that option, it is going to make me question you on are you really going to be polygamous or is this the way to clean up you? Because he he has a certain look. You know what I'm saying? He has a certain image, a certain brand. He speak about love. He 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 writes about love. You know, he has a certain brand about himself. So I feel like I, at first when I heard her speaking because of the emotion and she was speaking and how she I never seen the doctor so filled with that much flustered energy. And I think she knows there's more to it, too, by the way she was talking. She can only go off of what she's seen on the Internet. And I mm -hmm. think if she was to speak with Neo, I think she'll have a little bit more insight because I feel like when I realize I'm delivering my opinion like that. Now I want to listen more because I'm like, why am I so Word, emotionally I mean, it's drawn something, to it. yeah it's something i'm not processing right or something i'm taking personal or something that he's doing that's relating mm -hmm. to my childhood trauma so now i can't give an educated response and i it for some reason when i watched that clip it just looked like she was triggered and i'm like oh dang what makes yeah. her say this because i always agree with her but even if i usually agree with you if i disagree with you you're going to see it on my page too you're going to be like dang what happened here so i can i can't really speak but that's just my view on that a man a safe place to even talk about the situation to sure you know ladies if y'all don't give your man an opportunity to speak on it how can he express that to you a lot of ladies don't want to hear that 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 type. I want to have another woman. Could you imagine going to your wife and telling her, "I want another woman"? You know how that would crush her. So, but you, you got to say really it. But, but, but Hank, but Hank, she, it's, she, she was probably she was she a safe place to say those words. I doubt it. And so, what but, he trying to do? He try to sneak around, lie, and deceive, and, and and play all these questionable, childish games just to try to get away with it until he couldn't. And then it got caught up. Like, I don't yeah. know why we don't kind of present monogamy and polyamory at the same time in a sort of, it's like our, our society pushes one, like you got to be monogamous and you only got to be with one person. Well, why don't you just present both and let people choose the path that they choose and understand, it, you know, it's still what? It's illegal in America. That's why. yeah. It's it's illegal. Other Don't you it, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Uh, it's think, only illegal. It's, it's legal only illegal in America. Though. It's only illegal in America, and the only reason they will never make they'll pass all these laws for all these fifty-seven flavors of gay and trans and all these things for everything of the rainbow, but they will never make polyamory legal. Want to know why? Because it has nothing to do with love and it has nothing to do with union. It has everything to do with the taxpayer dollar. It has everything to do with money. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. You can't, man and woman, that's one, that's one union. Imagine one man with four wives. That's five. That's a union of five. It, it comes down to mathematics and they, they don't, the, the, the government does not benefit. They don't see the benefit. It has nothing to do. They don't care what you do in your personal life, but they understand the structure of how relationships come together. That's really what it is. That's why they, they allow all these other debauchery things to happen and take place in the past, all these policies, but they'll never legalize that because they understand under the cloak of everything that comes down to the almighty dollar. And Hank, I just want to say, just because it might be a difficult conversation when you're talking about your wife, you can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. The point in seeing if this woman is the one for you for your lifetime, you have to have a difficult conversation. She might not receive it well at first, but if you know why you want to do it and you have a plan for what you want to do, you have to have that conversation. If he would have just had that conversation when he had that realization, he could have avoided a lot of damage that probably happened in that marriage. You had, like, like... I had a relationship with somebody in my family, um, and I don't mind saying this because it's fixed now, but me and my mom, and she was oh, like, well, hey, nah, when I you were going through that trauma, let me finish. Nah, 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 I agree with you, bro. 
I agree with you. Oh, okay. But I don't okay. want you to get on this plane again because it's going to take a long time to land. So I don't agree <laughs> with you. I see. No, my mom right just there. explained. No, this is the issue with the community. It wasn't even about a plane, but this is the issue with the community. We all avoid hard conversations to oh, yeah, protect right. our feelings with moms, dads, relationships. And I just feel like we, we really got to stop doing it. Have the hard conversations, get the heartbreak up front if it's a heartbreak, and move on to avoid the damage. Hey, so I, I just looked it up. Um, Utah actually decriminalized uh polygamous marriages. So they they might be on board to be one of the first states to to make Shout it. Shout out official. to the Mormons. Shout out to the Mormons. Yo. Yo. I agree with it because um, I feel like it's now, a lot of women. At the same time, I, I do question uh how these two met met you know where was she a groupie uh and he just so happened to put a ring on her just you know because the sex was good or whatever uh was it actually built off of love to where they they both went into it under that act and not it being neo you know and and her having a i'm assuming this is her that jr is showing you know her being a red bone or whatever so it is to me, I think now marriage is so underplayed and undervalued, and especially in the celebrity world, it's easy to do it in a sense because you come across so many different women, so many different men to where your options are unlimited. You know, so was did they go into the marriage where it was damn near open and she and she just, you know, what I'm saying a couple to, to try to get that that place or you know, it, I feel like it's so much more to it that we don't know. Uh, Neo, again, Neo been in the game for a minute. I personally don't see how, how women may be attracted to him. I, I think he a little, you know, like that. But, hey, that we we was talking about it in the group chat uh, earlier. You know, sometimes that money, that, that money will make motherfucker look over anything. You know what I'm saying? Buddy could get like getting pegged or something, and she with it because she knows she's gonna be living that lifestyle. So at, at some point, did she get tired that you know he was slanging dick everywhere, and it was like you know what I'm gonna walk away, or did it, you know it, it's so much more to it? To I think to call him a womanizer, you know I I, I don't know what the term womanizer means exactly. I, I thought it was like a somebody that abused women, but. You know, it's I don't I feel like this is uh, unfortunate that you know just how Dad pointed out that she was so passionate about it and she don't know what does she know about it aside from what we see on the surface level is it's easy for a woman to say that we broke up because he he couldn't stop cheating you know and don't share the full story of it you know it, it the man is always going to be blamed so. Uh, I, I think that we should definitely have more information about whatever before allowing for our emotions to get so caught up in making an assumption. Because all, all we know, she, she's damn near a groupie the entire time. Well, he, yeah, but you, you know, know Fizz, you know, it's something about a man with a job, boy, that makes, makes the cootie cat wet. We talked about this last Wednesday, though. Man with a job, ain't that right? Hey. Hey, that, that, right, said, that money turned that faucet on. Yes, buddy. Man, <laughs> and I tell you, and once they get a man like that, they're entitled to perfection. 